In the light of that, um, I don't know what you make of this, John Lewis and Waitrose just announced that they are giving six months paid paternity leave to their staff, uh, matching what women will also get on maternity. So they are the first retail company in the UK to wow. introduce equal leave periods for both men and women. They want to be a more inclusive business that celebrates diversity. Um, so would that work in your house? Would Joe welcome that, do you think? Oh, yeah, I think... First of all, I think if a company has has the funds and is able to provide that, that service, mm -hmm. I think it's imperative and really important. Not just because I think, you know, m men need the time off or deserve the time off. I think it's important for the narrative that we have for men as fathers. I feel like they're sort of classed as a second class parent and not, very, not as important as the mum, mm -hmm. not as essential as the mum. And I think that provide or creates a lot of issues further down the line when it comes to the bond they have with their children, the rights or the ability to be a part of their children's lives in the future. So having a big retailer recognise that paternity leave is as important as maternity leave and that father's roles in a child life is as important as a mother's role in a child's mm -hmm. life, I think is a huge step towards the way that we condition ourselves to believe yeah. mums are more important yeah. than dads. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's interesting you say the word conditioning, because, I mean, I'm thinking, uh, well, certainly back to when my kids were small and, and beyond yeah. that, or back before that, there was always the joke, wasn't it, that, you know, the, the guy didn't actually want paternity leave, mm. you know, and they would rather be back in the office, they'd be rather carrying on with life and leave the nappies to the woman, and it was like, whew, you know, dodged a bullet, I got to go back to the office or the workplace or whatever. And we all kind of seeped that in. Yeah. And, mm. I think for guys too now, they're going to have to question themselves. Where do I want to be? You know, do I want to spend this time in the early years with my baby or do I want to duck out with it? Because it's but, not for everyone. I know. I, I, think, I think, but I feel like a lot more people, you know, actually with regards to mm. being at home and the babies has changed. We just heard from Ronan saying that being home for that whole year really opened him up to how much he enjoyed it. Mm. And if... Unfortunately, the narrative, whether it's in a joke, joke way, or you know, just like in that way to kind of just a jestful way, is that always oh, meant to just go back to work and not be home? Unfortunately, some people are just going to float to that instead of mm. being standing in actually what their heart desire yeah. and when they experience it, yeah. then they're like, yeah, this is what I want. But also, to do. the reality is for the, for most men and you know families, it's financial. Mm. You know, yeah. the one that earns the most money goes back to work, and generally, it has More been the men. case that men have earned the most money. But so it's just changing kind of now. That things way. are changing. <laughs> Women are making more money and, and in, within the household, sometimes making more money than their partners. Mm. Yeah. I mean, not enough, I don't mean... I mean, it's obviously not even, like you say, Kay, more men will earn more than women across the board. But does that mean that more we, w women want to be with their children more? I really don't think it does. Mm. And if these big corporations are able to say, do you know what, we're offering paternity leave yeah. to mirror our maternity leave, then you won't get that discrimination that sometimes happens where people don't hire women because they can are yeah. about to get maternity yeah. leave They'll, because the men will have the same opportunities. Yeah. So yeah. I do think it, overall it will change the infrastructure mm -hmm. of a lot of things that have real big flaws in it at the moment. Yeah, Literally. yeah, I, I think you're right. I think it's just a signal. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of small business people who will probably look at that immediately and think, I can't afford to be exactly. given everybody Everyone. six months exactly. off. No. And Absolutely. there is the reality there that, that we have to absolutely yeah. acknowledge. Mm. But if we are shifting the dial to say this is what we aspire to and this is the direction we want to move in, then hopefully, you know, we give people more opportunities. Mm. Um,